everybody. It is Mike Young, lifestyle nutritionist with a plant-based diet.org. Welcome to the next chapter, chapter 27, I think it is, entitled Body Odor. This is a chapter devoted to BO and actually getting rid of it is what it's devoted to because I don't think, I have to ask my friends, my wife, I don't think I really have any body odor anymore, which is amazing because my deodorant doesn't work. And that's a, actually, that, that's what this chapter is about too. <laughs> um, Body odor, deodorant, antiperspirant. This is kind of all going into one thing here. Now, if you if you watch the chapter on my story, a few few chapters back, you know that I didn't think there's going to be any benefit to giving up dairy, but I I noticed that the real benefit, uh, one of the real benefits, any one, was the reduction of body odor, meaning armpits, feet, and chronic halitosis, breath. Okay, all kinds of stuff going on there. All odors. And there's even earwax too, that's another chapter. So around that same time, I was also concerned about the products that people use for body odor uh, in the underarm area, deodorants and antiperspirants. So I, I, I could see there's all kinds of chemicals. A lot of people say like, you shouldn't ever use antiperspirants because it's not natural. The body's sweating to cool itself down. Why would you want to stop the sweat? And, then, and of course, the average person is thinking, well, of course, they got to stop the sweat because the sweat smells. Well, that's another issue where you are managing the symptoms and you're not addressing the root cause of what's actually going on. Because if you could stop your sweat from smelling, it wouldn't matter if you were sweating at all, right? Not to mention, you're not going to get stains from your deodorant on all your clothes and everything it's really if you're talking about stains it's not just from sweating it's really from your deodorant and your specifically your antiperspirant which has even more chemicals because antiperspirant stops you from sweating in addition to trying to cover up the odor now i use something that's like called urban cowboy i think is what's called and uh, i switched that like 10 or more years ago because i realized that stuff was powerful i didn't want to use I didn't want to use any persons anymore. And occasionally, you know, putting stuff on, I'm a sensitive person, as you've known, it's the theme of this. I'm like the canary in the coal mine. I would notice I would get red rashes from time to time, like a lot, like all the time. I still will get them occasionally. It's rare that I get that. But it was usually I found a reaction, well, fat after switching, a reaction to the deodorants and the antiperspirants and things that I was using. They're powerful chemicals. And your skin is like the largest organ in the body. Whatever you put on your skin, gets absorbed into your body. So you need to make sure you're not putting any harsh chemicals or any chemicals really at all onto your skin on a regular basis. And we gotta have a lot of chapters about that, but this one's about the body odor and about the armpits, the feet and the mouth, that type of stuff. So uh, in terms of your mouth too, you should still brush your tongue, make sure all that's clean because you can still develop stuff, but it, not like the dairy. The dairy, oh my gosh, once you give up dairy and it's really gone for like years, it takes years to clear this stuff out. It takes about seven years for your body to fully regenerate all the cells. You'll have no cells from another species, from, from body fluids from another species, okay, that were never designed. They're designed to blow up a cow, into a calf into a giant cow, right? Not to, now humans are blowing up. That's the problem. That's not a good situation. But anyway, I just want to give you hope that if you got body odor and you got issues with these deodorants and antiperspirants, which I, you know, I was in that category not too long ago, 10, 10 years or so, or about 10 years. And uh, it all went away. It takes time, but your body will regenerate itself and you won't need those strong, powerful deodorants. And like my wife says, even the deodorant I use doesn't really work. And that's okay, I guess. I mean, it does something, okay? And I don't really, I don't really don't need to use it, but it doesn't, it's not powerful. It's not like chemicals. So let me know your story to below do you even believe this is possible do you think this is genetic because actually these odors this odor deal here i thought the stuff was genetic knowing my parents especially my dad and how his odors were i thought well i just inherited it but i didn't i inherited the habits i inherited the, the, the teachings that were passed down about the diet and the lifestyle that's what i did uh drinking products made of dairy you know uh mammary gland juice from another species. That is what's causing this kind of stuff, okay? I just wanna let you know, I wanna give you hope. And of course, I'm sure, you know, you're not getting the casein, which Dr. T. Colin Campbell in the China study says he has proven causes cancer in humans. 
there are so many benefits. And, and this is about longevity, this book, right? You, you focus on the quality and then you get the quantity. All right, you're not getting, you're not going to get, I'm not giving you advice to give you a, lo, a huge quantity of extended years of pain. Okay, I, I don't want that. Nobody wants that. You just have to live the way your body was designed to thrive and you will get all the fun, all the quality, all the quantity. And a lot of this is odor related. This odor thing is a big deal. It's a big deal. And let me know if it's a big deal for you. Please tell me your story below. Uh, if you think I stink, just say you stink in the comments, you know, whatever, whatever you want. Okay. If you want to, uh, uh, anyway, I'd just be interested to hear your feedback. Okay. We're always learning here. We don't claim to know it all. If, if it was 20 years ago, I couldn't make this video. I'm 52. So I'd still be 32. And at age 32, I would not be able to make this video and say, Hey, just cut out the, cut out the, uh, the dairy and your odors will go down. You know, I, I wouldn't even know what you're talking about, but this book is way more than that. This V book is way more than just cutting out the dairy so your armpits don't smell. We want you to have a super high quality, fun life, and we want it to be very, very long, over 100 years old, 150. That's the goal, right? So thank you so much for watching. If you got some value out of this, please check the like button, smash the like button. Subscribe, of course, you can get the uh, bell for notifications so you hear about more chapters coming out real soon. I'm going to record some more right now, actually. So thanks so much for watching. Bye.